Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hi. Okay, hi, Hovin. Hi. Hi, Miki. A long time. <laughs> yes, wow, long time no Miki. see. It is a free English practice where we could share some knowledge and nuggets of information, right? Can you see me clearly? Yes, I can see clearly. Only I this moment I use the cell phone okay. because the computer it's a little a little difficult, a little bad in this uh, this uh, use this right. computer phone. All right. But I I tried uh, I tried using the I tried understanding the cell phone. <laughs> oh, that, that's tonight. good to know. That's good to know. Can you hear me? Because I'm using right now an earphone. I'm not using a headset because, you know, it's piercing my ears, really. Literally, I needed to use earphones. So can you hear me clearly? Is my voice clear to you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. A, uh, a, we're going to start with you because you are the first person who comes in our lesson. You'll be receiving a feedback from me while you are speaking. Okay. Okay. Great. And then later, if another student will come in our lesson, of course, I'm going to entertain them. Is it okay for you? Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm going to entertain another student for, you know, giving feedbacks also. But now, since you come in our lesson, I don't want to waste your time or any other people's time. Right. So you're going to improve in just, let's say, 10 minutes. Okay? Are you with that? Yeah. Are you with me? Are you all right? I am all right. Great. So at first, I want to begin our lesson off, I mean, a kind of introduction. Is it okay? Please introduce a little bit about yourself. Okay. Uh, this moment? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm... Uh, uh, my name is uh, Olvi. I'm I'm from Ecuador. This, this is uh, located in the um, in the might of the world in South America. Uh, I study English for for uh, improve in my life. Uh, I I'm this. Uh, I, for that, I need to I, I, I need to learn English, and I live uh, a small town in in near of a capital, uh, capital of from Ecuador. It's a, I, it's a, I can tell you about my about me. Our, I couldn't catch the last sentence. What did you say? I couldn't catch the last sentence. What did you say? Uh, um, I, I live in the, in the town of Salcedo City. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a small town near uh, from, uh, from Quito, upper mm -hmm. uh, of uh, Ecuador. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's about me. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, you are from Ecuador. Oh my God. Uh, it is just my first time to have a student somewhere in Ecuador. Mostly they are across the euro. And um, yes, all over Asia, as well as in the United States of America. Though from your case, it's Ecuador. Yeah, it's kind of really new for me. But uh, here's a, a quite feedback for me. When you, you know, when you are going to introduce yourself, you make sure that your voice is loud and clear, right? So we can hear better. We don't miss every single word. And you have said twice, like, 
I live in Ecuador, and then later you live in Ecuador, Ecuador, you, I don't know, maybe you have said thrive of the, that sentence. That's what you call a repeated word. You don't need to repeat many times because uh, I'm listening. I'm all ears with you. Right. So avoid repeated words in your introduction since you have already said. Another thing is you have to speak loud and clear so we won't miss uh, every single word that you are saying. Okay. No problem. Okay. Great. Okay. Yes. Now I'm going to ask you some few questions. Yes, a very simple question. Super uh, simple than you have expected. Hold on, <laughs> how about to check? Right. Okay, we have another <laughs> attendee. Hi. Yeah, that's Kenshin, one of our um, yeah, students. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. Some of the students haven't joined yet. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe they are confused with the time. Uh, I yep. Uh, okay. Uh, I needed to send a kind of some link, and uh, obviously I've got to share with you a uh, questions. Hold on. Okay, hold in. While we are waiting for the speaking practice that we're gonna use, could you tell me how was your day? Uh, today, yeah, I, I today I I in the morning I I got up around the six a.m. Okay. After I after I going I after I went to I went to prepare breakfast. Mm -mm. And after I went to went to my my job, and uh, in total around the the, the noon, mm -hmm. and return for for lunch mm -hmm. at my house. And after I I I went to continue my job into the four. Uh, 5 p.m. and uh, and return for my class uh, 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 of English in my house and 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 until the 9 9 p.m. Uh, after uh, I until this moment <laughs> after after I uh, this moment, I continue with you. With you. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, okay. With you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Okay. It's so all, it's all for today. It's all for today. I'm. Uh -huh. really, I'm do that, and I'm uh, surprised. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you want to improve your English? Sorry? Why do you want to improve your English? Um uh, I, I want to I want I want to improve English because I need for for my job and uh, and I need to understand uh, uh, any neighbor uh, any any for for foreign a person and and I I I like this language I enjoy this language uh, I am I enjoy learning this language and I I feel very well uh, learn learn that mm -hmm. okay okay great great good, good job and um, now I have a question which aligns to your work. Is it okay to ask? Is it not confidential? Okay, yes. So this is more on improving your spoken English, right? Yes, can you count one to 10, like 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that, with the same voice. It's not monotone or not even a soft voice. Is it okay? Yeah. Yes, we have another donor. Hi, hi, Rach. Yes, Rach is my friend. Yeah, my best friend. Hello. <laughs> I told her to join to practice speaking English. And later, Rich, I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself. You have to prepare, right? <laughs> yes, this is more on improving ourselves. That's why it's pretty confidential, right? Because we are in just one circle. We're not into a live class. Because if it's a live class somewhere in the YouTube or uh, Facebook, you might be shy and you don't have an opportunity to speak out. So this is a great opportunity to speak out with a tutor, let's say. Okay, thank you for telling. You have two questions before I give you a feedback right now. The first one is you have to uh, increase your voice. Now, I asked you to count one to ten without changing your tones. For example, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you count all Hovind? Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. You're going to count. Uh, one, yes, one to ten. One to ten without changing your voice. Like, hello. No, not like that. Wow. Hello, how are you? For example, because it's the same thing. Yeah, Rich and of course, uh, Ken, we're going to do the same process. Yes, Halvin, please count one to ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, increase your voice, not a monotone. Okay. Practice this one. Because when you speak, one. it's the same thing. Like, one, two, three, four, five. You know, you, we can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. A little you're, you're nervous. I'm just nervous you. Nervous. <laughs> because you have a, you have a, a part of, of, you have a, how would you say this? Sorry. A um, ver, uh, would you have a, a, a cold because you you lost a long time because I there is I feel a little a little nervous a little. Uh, little it's okay. Uh, at least you know, right? Time. You're going to practice at home. Yeah, practice at home to count one to twenty as much as you can. Yeah, I'm going to talk now with Rachel. I have given you the feedback, Holvin. Yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna be chatting with you. Hi, Rachel. Yes, let's start with Rachel. Uh -uh. Can you introduce a little bit about yourself so Holvin could, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, um, I mean, which country have you been? Yes, Holvin will know you. I should say because Rachel is my, uh, my friend when I was in high school and up to now. Hi, Rachel. Hi. <laughs> yes. Uh, I guess that Rachel needed to improve her spoken English because she is traveling around the world also. And uh, she is, yeah, she works. Yeah, isn't it? In Singapore. Yeah. And uh, I don't know a lot about her, but yes. Hi. Can you can you speak English with us? Rachel. <laughs> Calling paging, paging Rachel. Please come into the line. We cannot hear you. <laughs> yes. She unmuted her microphone, but we can't hear you. Okay, she is shy. She's shy. How about Kenshin? Can you participate? Hi there. 
Uh, hi, can you introduce a little bit about yourself to Holvin? Okay. Or, uh, and also with Rachel, because uh, she, she has a problem of uh, her microphone. Okay. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, Holvin. Hi, Rachel. And hi, Teacher Kitty. Uh, I'm JB, Hi. and currently I'm a computer instructor, and I've been teaching for almost 15 years. And uh, I love uh, playing computer games and watching movies and traveling. And I love to learn English because I know that it will help me a lot in my profession as well as communicating with other people and students. And that's all. Nice meeting okay. you guys. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you for that introduction. And uh, yeah, I don't know how do you call, how do I call you? <laughs> thank you so much, sir. Yeah. And uh okay, so we, Rachel hasn't yeah introduced herself yet, though I have introduced you her because uh, she is my best friend. And uh right now, Paulvin, do you have any question to Sir uh Sir JB? Somehow you do you have any question? Yes. Did uh, you understand what is he doing? Where is it? Where is it? Where 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 are where part is located? Uh, where are you from? Maybe where, you would like to say where are you where from? You, where are you from? Okay. Oh. Where are you from? I'm from uh Philippines, Holbin. Yeah, I'm from the Philippines. We need to add that because we have more than seven thousand one hundred and seven islands, and we would say from the Philippines. Oh, okay. Philippines. I'm from, uh, from the Philippines. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, we are from the Philippines, Holvin. <laughs> it's near you. It's near when you when you when you, when you live uh, in the city. It's uh, <laughs> uh, Come again. I can't, I can't. I can't hear you. Yes, Holvin. Holvin said, "Is it near?" One more time, Holvin. You're going to ask Ian. Is it near from teacher? Kitty's location. Okay, so One more yeah. time. Can you say that again, Holvin? Is it it's near? It's near uh, from location, Miss Kitty. From teacher's location, because we have two nouns location and also Kitty is a two nouns. We have to add apostrophe S. Teacher's, look, teacher, teacher Kitty's location. Teacher's, teacher's location. Yeah, teacher uh, I'm, location. Oh, I'm quite far, Holvin. Yeah, quite far. We are far together because he lives okay, another I live city. Uh, yes. Yeah, I live in another city. Okay. I I, yes, I, but the I, same I, province. <laughs> we we were the same uh province. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you. Now I will ask you, Amanda, we will be having a role play. Right. I'll share to you my screen. Okay, Holvin, can you see my screen? Or uh, I would like to participate everyone in the lesson. Okay, yes, so I... let me call you Ken. Ken, could you please ask Holvin at least five questions. You can random this kind of questions. Yeah. Answer. Okay. Choose okay. five questions. What is you? Yeah. Holvin, you're going to answer the question and then later I will okay. share with you the questions for him. Okay. What okay. Is your job? Uh, okay. Ken, could you ask Holvin, please? Okay, uh, Holvin, what is your job? Okay, uh, my job is uh, uh, I 
I lost this flight. I I was in the in the I I worked uh, in this area around the three years ago. Um, because uh, uh, this moment I have a uh, other other job job eventuality. Uh, because uh, I need uh, I need to uh, learn this language for um, for for um, use in this area. Okay, thank you. Uh, my next question is, why did you choose that job? Why? Did you yeah, why, uh, yeah, why did you choose that job? I, I should uh, this job because um, I, I work in, in a lot of time in the area and, and I like, uh, I, I like uh, the, travel with the uh, helicopters and uh, and enjoy the uh, enjoy uh, work in this area oh thank you so you ride the helicopter that's nice yeah <laughs> okay my third question is what was your first day like Okay, I'll repeat. What was your yes. first day like? Oh, okay. Uh, so my my first day was uh, a little, uh, my my first day was uh, uh, a little amazing. Uh, a little um, uh, excited. Because uh, this day I have a uh, an interview uh, with a boss with a uh, uh, a lot of people uh, uh, from this uh, company and uh, but I enjoy uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, first day. Okay, okay. Uh, my fourth question: What responsibilities? Do you have at work? Okay, I, I, I have um, I had uh, a responsibility. Uh, for example, uh, of a uh, a group of coworkers, and the and coordinator the keep a coordinator uh coordinator. Uh, uh, fly coordinator. Uh, give a coordinator uh, of pro of the helicopter and and say and say of 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 charge of charge of uh, the of charge. Uh, I send a uh, other place. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you. For the last question, do you plan to continue with your job in the future? Or you have other plans? Yes, I I have a other uh, plan uh, for continuing this, this, uh, this job. I like uh, I like uh, work and 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 now other and and have experience in this field and and I like I like more ethics in this area. Okay, thank you very much, Halvin, and uh, also can.
for your effort of answering the questions to him. It's an amazing conversation. So this is my feedback to you, Halvin. We're going to do it super quickly, right? Uh, the first questions you may say like, uh, um, I had uh, what is the responsibility? Yeah, he has asked you, and you said I had uh, ta 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 what? You don't have uh, uh, paraphrasing marks in there. Let's say my responsibility is to coordinate to my boss. Ta 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 ta. Did you get that? You need to paraphrase the questions. Responsibility. And then you, you can also repeat the words, my responsibility is to, or you could say, I am responsible to, or you could say as, I, I work with, da, 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 like this. Okay. Yes. Uh -uh. And uh, we don't say, uh, I don't know, I could understand the others. To coordinate. Yeah, I needed to coordinate with, somebody maybe or with your boss with your members with your colleagues another thing is i sent other places i understand i was a, oh, I have a headache with that kind of expression i sent other places is it a kind of courier services i don't know uh was that a kind of yeah what kind of work is it uh, you, you needed to clarify that kind of phrase Right, and uh, I like to more, we don't say that, I like more, I like to, uh, I like to what? What do you like? Someone's, um, yeah, participate in it. I like to what? Yeah, I like to organize, yeah, my work. Well, for example, yeah, sure. we don't add more or mix together. You need to, have a flow of your sentences as much as you can. So practice the grammar from I like to write and then paraphrase the words of responding to the question. Is it popular job in your country? Yes, it is common. In uh, It is common job in my country. It is common work. Okay, synonyms, popular, common, job, work. You know, these are the paraphrasing not to repeat the same words over time. Okay, Holvin, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to contact you later for an, another personal feedback for you. Okay? Yeah, good job. That's amazing. Are you okay? Yeah, perhaps it is uncomfortable for you to speak in English because we were in a group, right? And then, oh my God, your palm is sweating, probably your... Uh, your heart is palpitating right now, isn't it? Because for me, I don't have a, you know, a sleep, a good sleep. I have only like four hours sleep, but I'm still here. Anyway, hi, Michael. Uh, what is your name? Roderick Bernardo. Yeah, probably he lives here also in the Philippines. So I would like to ask if he is here. Let's ask him. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, it's not responding. Okay. Maybe there's a problem of microphone. Yeah, you shouldn't be scared in speaking English because, you know, this is your time. Your time to shine. Your time, your time to, <laughs> to explore your speaking, right? And we are just uh, in a circle. It's good to practice your spoken English. Right, Hobin? Are you okay, Hobin? Yeah, you are now yeah. relaxed. Right. Okay, good. Uh, hi, Roderick. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can you speak English? Okay, muted. Muted. Hello. <laughs> right. Hello, Mom. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Yes, good morning to you. Uh, we are very happy that you have joined in the you know, practical speaking, it's not a test, it's not. It's just only a friendly, engaging conversation. Are you okay? Are you with us? Yeah, yeah. I'm just okay. having trouble with the internet. Ah, just... all right. Yes, now we can hear you. Everyone hear you, no problem. Can you introduce a little bit about yourself? Because we are already finished. Oh, you're late. Uh, yes, just a little. 
Well, Holden worked in the uh, somewhere in Korea. Yeah, Ken is working at the university. Is a instructor, and Rachel is working somewhere in Singapore. And uh, yeah, I'm working from home. <laughs> that is quite different, right, from us. Okay, so how can I call you? Can I call you <gasps> Roderick? Yeah, um, you can call me Roderick or Derek for sure. Derek, okay. Yeah, that sounds better. Derek. Yeah. Could you introduce a little bit about yourself? We are all listening to you. We are all ears. I'm sorry. See? Yes. No, no. Uh, again, no? Yes. Uh, could you introduce a little about yourself? Um, regarding these questionnaires in the screen? Uh, no, sorry. It is uh, your, I mean, uh, introducing yourself. Let's say, for example, hi, I'm PT. I'm working as. Are we? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay, thank you. Um, my name is Radu. Um, um, I got two, I got two kids. Um, I'm a student now in San Fernando La Union, and I'm taking up this course for me to improve uh, my English uh, language or English listening to add some confidence for me to speak in English because I got no um, big confidence about speaking in English is why I decided to mm -mm. Um, attend this webinar of yours, Mom Kitty. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, oh, no. you are on the right track. Right. Because you would, I mean, you are a student at, okay. Instead of saying in, we say at. Yeah, at San, this is a kind of university, isn't it? San Fernando La Union University. Dimsu. It? It's all US actually. Ah, okay. May I know the university name? Dim so. Oh, okay. Yes. And what year are you now? Um, um, actually, I'm first year. Oh, great. Yes. Yeah, you have uh, uh, a lot of opportunities then and to improve yourself. That's amazing. Can you open your camera? Okay, yes. Yes. Because, you know, when you're first year and then you are going to speak English with other people, especially all over the world, you have much even more opportunities to come to you because no, no, no. you know it develops sure. your confidence and speaking English. Yeah, right. How can I clear this? Effect? Yes, okay, Derek. Yeah, no problem. It's all right. There's a lot of effects right here. Okay. I will give you a personal feedback right now. If you're going to answer a question somewhere here, yeah, on the screen. Have you ever worked before, Derek? Yes, so, uh -huh. I... Just continue. Yes. As you notice, I have asked present perfect tense. Have you ever? This question is a light plea, especially for the native speakers. They always ask, have you ever? It's not always the five WH questions. How, what, when, which, where, you know, these questions, right? But in a present perfect tense, it's good to ask the questions to start, have you? Yeah. Have you ever, yeah, have you ever studied English before? Of course. Right. Yeah. So use that expression if you ask the question because it's uh, a very good to ask another way of questions, but not just five WH questions that I have mentioned before. Okay, Derek. Uh, I sorry, Ken. I guess that you needed to respond to the question. I oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, so just relax, Derry. It's okay. Yeah, I know that English is really difficult because you know sometimes our jaw is mumbling because we were around the people. We are afraid to make mistakes. I understand. We're pam, we're sweating. Like, oh God, I needed to speak English. What should I do? I understand that. I feel the same before. 
but uh, right now it, you just overcome your fear in speaking you know the fear of all all people it's not about the height not even uh you know facing a snake or a lion but it's more on speaking somewhere in this circle right or in a group or in public speaking that is the most probably like uh, fearful for human beings because uh it's gonna <laughs> it's going to have a lot of different emotions such as for example like uh you know judgment of people do i look good do i speak well did i use the good vocabularies like that isn't it correct holvin do you feel the yeah. same yeah that is the fear the fear of speaking so we're going to break that kind of fear you know in this session all right so you're going to ask holvin please ask ken at least five questions yeah five questions is that okay okay you okay. say you say in this question i have i uh, use a person a perfect simple you have a question to me uh, yes um uh, in this question i have uh, i have i use a uh, present perfect simple a uh, present simple uh no you're not going to speak right now because you already finished your turn you have to ask ken like about hometown this on the screen can you see the screen choose yeah. five questions only five okay yes okay okay yeah and then well, later direct yeah i will ask you a question what is your home, hometown what like? or where you have to pronounce it clearly is it our practice that or what what sometimes the t has been glottalized to what 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 or where er, er. yeah point your tip tongue to the upper lip yeah okay upper palate of your tongue we have to say where or where uh, where can you say it again one more time okay what is your hometown like? Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, Holbin. My hometown, hometown is like a a wonderful place wherein there are so many uh, friendly neighbors as well as uh, different. Um, different types of people you can mingle with. And where, where I grew up, uh, there are lots of uh, friends, but now they are uh, in different places. Uh, that's it, Holby. Yeah. The other question is uh, mm, Okay. Okay, Hobby, I'm sorry to cut you off. I just want to give some uh, feedback to Mr. Ken. It will be better to say like a friendly neighborhood. Right. It's oh, yeah. a pro word. Neighborhood. Neighbors. Yeah, it's correct. But uh, I guess it will be better if we say neighborhood, right? Friendly neighborhood. neighborhood. So that's just all. Yeah. Okay. okay perfect. Right. Please, Hobby, ask another question. I'm all ears. <laughs> Um, how could you hometown 